The largest natural blast ever recorded. Suddenly, we both woke up at the same time. Somebody or something shoved us. We heard whistling and felt strong wind. Chikarin said, Can you hear all those birds flying overhead? We were both in the hut, couldn't see what was going on outside. Suddenly, I got shoved again. This time so hard I fell into the fire. I got scared. We started crying out for father, mother, brother, but no one answered. There was noise beyond the hut. Chikarin and I got out of our sleeping bags and wanted to run out, but then the thunder struck. This was the first thunder. The earth began to move and rock. Wind hit our hut and knocked it over. My body was pushed down by sticks, but my head was in the clear. Then I saw a wonder. Trees were falling. The branches were on fire. It became mighty bright. How can I say this? As if there was a second sun. My eyes were hurting. I even had to close them. And immediately there was another loud thunder. This was the second thunder. The morning was sunny, there were no clouds, our sun was shining brightly as usual, and suddenly there came a second one. Jakarin and I had some difficulty getting out from under the remains of our hut. Then we saw that above, but in a different place. There was another flash, and loud thunder came. This was the third thunder strike. Wind came again, knocked us off our feet, struck against the fallen trees. We looked at the fallen trees, watched the treetops get snapped off. Watch the fires. Suddenly, Chikarin yelled, Look up! and pointed with his hand. I looked there and saw another flash, and it made another thunder. But the noise was less than before. This was the fourth strike, like normal thunder.